Histology of adipose tissue. We're looking at one of our types of connective tissue, four types of tissue in the body, epithelial, connective, muscle, and nervous. Three types of connective tissue. Connective tissue proper, connective tissue fluid, and supporting. Two types of connective tissue proper, loose and dense. This is one of our loose connective tissues. Previously in another video, we looked at areolar connective tissue. Now we're looking at adipose tissue, which is our fat supply, our adipose tissue that we see in the hypodermis, around our breasts, around our kidneys to provide that structural cushion, that insulation, that energy supply. Where I show it at the beginning, it's part of the hypodermis. So we learned our epidermis is stratified squamous epithelium. We learned that the dermis contains areolar connective tissue at that papillary layer. In the reticular layer, we learned that's dense irregular connective tissue. And we get into the hypodermis, it's primarily adipose tissue. When I look at adipose tissue, to me, it looks like just like a bunch of clear translucent bubbles. When we did areolar tissue, remember I called it sticks or kindling for a campfire, sticks everywhere. Now I see a bunch of clear white bubbles. What's unique to adipose tissue is when we look at the individual cells, which are adipocytes, that we see at the corner is the nuclei. Almost like it looks like a solitaire diamond ring. So the nuclei tend to sit towards one corner as if I'm holding up a diamond ring. So the, all of these individual bubbles are adipocytes. Notice we have a little bit more cellularity. Anatomy is not perfect across the board, but we try to categorize them based on their structure and function we best, our, best we can because we said it's specialized cells that make a matrix. When we look at adipose tissue, it's just a bunch of adipocytes that are put together. So as we look at these individual cells, these are all adipocytes. These cells last quite a while. So we looked at areolar connect tissue, like our fibroblasts, they can live for weeks to months. When we look at adipocytes, they can last for years, sometimes up to a decade, up to 10 years. They shrink in size when we use them, but they don't necessarily go away. They will die off. They do have the ability to regenerate, but that's what makes losing weight difficult to do. Your body's trying to keep that for an energy supply, but if you don't use them, they won't shrivel up and shrink, and then you won't lose that weight. So adipose tissue, I see in the hypodermis, it's full of a bunch of adipocytes, a bunch of clear bubbles.